You'd think Oregon would be leading the charge on renewable energy, right? Well, Governor Tina Kotek has said, Oregon has been leading the way for years on courageous state policies to fight climate change. But that's not exactly true. OPB and ProPublica's investigation found that Oregon actually sits near the bottom when it comes to adding wind and solar power, while Republican-led states like Texas and Iowa have surged ahead. So what's holding us back? Well, Oregon's legislature passed laws requiring more renewable power, but lawmakers didn't pay enough attention to the transmission lines it would take to get there. To add new power sources to the grid, the region needs more transmission, and that's just not happening. There's just no room on the grid to connect new wind and solar generators. In the last decade, of the 469 green energy projects proposed, only one has been able to connect to the grid. So what does this mean for Oregonians? Our power supply isn't growing that fast, but our demand for energy is. And that brings a potential of higher utility bills and a greater risk of blackouts in the future. You can read our full analysis at opb.org.